welcome back to CrossFit ELMs at home workouts, aka hashtag CoronaWad. We are still inside, but that's okay. We're still getting our fitness in. Um, this week, uh, we're just going to keep up uh, doing this until really we get told otherwise. So, um, what we have today is for the workout, we have four rounds of 15 front rack back step lunges um, in the left. 10 single arm presses on the left, and then 15 and 10 of the same thing on the right. Um, we'll talk about positions and things like that here in a second. Your cool down, you have a tricep behind the head stretch. So you're literally just gonna put your hand behind your back like you're trying to pat yourself on the back, grab, and pull. Okay, we're stretching out that tricep and that lat, okay? And then the twisted newspaper stretch I'm gonna go ahead and lay on the floor, okay? I'm gonna set up with my knees bent like this, okay? One, arm, one leg comes across here, and then I just twist. And I can push away. I actually wanna push away and then look away from the stretch. And that's your twisted newspaper stretch. You're gonna spend a minute on each side on each of those stretches. So if, a total of four minutes at the end of just trying to rest and recover. Warm up, you got a 20 count spidey stretch. We call this spidey stretch. It's a four part stretch. You guys have seen this before. You're taking a knee, active toe in the back. Okay, good posture. Part one is elbow down. Part two is hand next to foot open towards this leg. Okay. Part three, lace the fingers, reach, press the hip forward a little bit. And then part four, straighten that lead leg out and take a bow, okay? And we're gonna go 20 count, 20 seconds in each of those positions. 30 seconds of child's pose, okay? So if you've ever done yoga, you know this one. Toes go together, knees go wide. Sit your butt back on your heels the best you can and drop your head in between your shoulders and stretch in there for 30 seconds. Um, then you have three rounds of five double-doubles and 10 diamond push-ups. So just a quick reminder, double-doubles are a lunge, squat, lunge, squat, okay? Diamond push-ups. You're literally gonna put your hands in a diamond, come down to the ground, and you can do these as full push-ups or you can do them as knee push-ups, okay? Coming down, touch your chest to your diamond, Press back out, okay? Full push-up, looks like that, all right? So, coming into the workout, whether you're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, we'll change things up a little bit, okay? If I'm using a kettlebell, I wanna create this front rack position here where the handle is even with my center line and I've created a little cradle here, okay? The front rack uh, lunges, whatever side is carrying the weight, is the side doing the work. So if I'm gonna do a back step lunge here, I'm gonna do a back step with the opposite leg, okay? So that the leg under the weight is the one doing the work, okay? The press here, the handle comes out a little bit, and I'm gonna press straight up and come back down, okay? For a dumbbell, it looks a little bit different because your dumbbell front rack position is literally right even with your shoulder. So same deal here, same, same drill. The, the leg carrying the weight is the leg doing the work. So step back, stand back up, okay? And then my strict press, press straight up. Again, like we've talked about, dumbbells go front to back, not side to side, okay? Um, other than that, guys, enjoy the workout. Have an awesome day tomorrow, and we'll see you the day after.